What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's time to get back to some games. We're going to take up Beholder 2, and as soon as I pull it up, I'll tell you what the hell Beholder 2 is about. I didn't play Beholder 1. Hopefully that's not uh, going to be an issue here. Hopefully I don't need Beholder 1 to understand the story. Here we go. Developed by Alawar Stargaze, published by Alawar, released December 4th, 2018. You were an intern at the Central Ministry of a Totalitarian State with your whole career ahead of you. Work your way up the ladder by scheming against employees, spying on your boss, and completing paperwork. Or do you turn against the state and expose corruption? The choice is still yours to make. Real quick, I want to say thank you to everybody who's clicked the subscribe button and clicked the like button. I can't see the names. They're not popping up on my notifications bar, so that's why I haven't put your names up. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Without further ado, here is Beholder 2. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. That looks like me. Yes, that's who I'm controlling. Uh, I'm pretty sure I said this is supposed to be in English. I'm positive I said, we're, yep, nope, that's English. So I guess it's just subtitles. Oh boy. Okay, well, it is what it is. Turn it all upside down. Why are you all looking at me? Why am I the center of attention? Am I famous? It sounds like Japanese. I'm 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 so lost right now. Did I release a very embarrassing video that you all saw? Okay, I guess he was done talking. I'm gonna go inside now. You've got to jump off cliffs all the time and build your wings on the way down or die. Those are your options. Fly or die. Real simple. Get it tattooed. He ain't got no mouth. He ain't got no mouth. Cause the state don't say shit. The state don't say shit. If you're getting beat down in the alleyway, you better hope Batman saves your life. Cause the state don't say shit. Batman! Gonna save the citizens. Meanwhile, Secretary burning documents. That's me. Secretary getting rid of evidence. That's me. Secretary man. He doesn't get the same frame as a Batman. Secretary man. Just as cool as the guy who's traumatized by bats. Does he have any powers? No. Can he fly? Hell no. Can he fight? Oh no. But he can burn a document. Can burn a document. Gonna burn some documents. State don't say shit. But I hope Batman saves your ass in that alleyway. New EP dropping soon. Check it on all platforms or none. It doesn't matter. Beholder. And matter of fact, we ain't played a game in a hot minute. I'm excited. Let's drop into one. Let's see what this is all about. Ain't played a game since Thailand. Well, before Thailand. A few days later. Transfer to the Ministry Approved. Get to work as soon as you arrive in Helmer by Jay Cunningham. P.S. Your father's dead. Uh, more info when we meet. Wow, that's a hell of a way to drop that news. All right, I'm ready. I, I guess this is the pass. I'm assuming... Hi there. I assume you're the one I've been waiting for. My name is George Himmitz. Hey, George. My name is Secretary... I mean, uh, Evan. Nice to meet you, Evan. You must be quite a big deal, Evan. Why? I've been with the ministry for eight years, four months, and 12 days. In that time, I've processed 18,342 applications, had 1,629 cups of coffee, and witnessed eight, uh, I'm sorry, 284 incidents of civil disorder. Now ask me how many times I've been sent to welcome a new employee on his first day. How many? I think this language is made up. Whatever they're speaking right now, I don't think it's real anymore. This is like Sims language. Zero, Evan Zilch. Not once in all those 3,052 days. So there has to be something special about you, right? You're right, I'm a big shot at the ministry. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, I can click things. I'm gonna say I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm just a lonely secretary. I mean, Evan. 
Perhaps you've gotten me mixed up with someone else. I'm just here to be a clerk. My name's Evan Redgrave. Redgrave? As in Redgrave, Redgrave. Oh, God. Your father. Enough chit-chat. Let's just go to the ministry. To the ministry. Understood. I, I promise I won't talk too much on the way there. Okay, I don't believe you, Evan. Your personality so far doesn't scream that you're not a talker. Let's go. Find where we work at. The ministry is considered... Quite rightfully to be the one of the most beautiful and well cut buildings in all the country. Have a look. Check out the statue of the wise leader in the square. It took 5,000 tons of concrete in 2004. You're talking a lot, buddy. It's tons of metal. It's like the opposite of what you said you were going to do. You might get an umbrella. This is cold and different pavements where your father met his end. Oh, secretary man was our dad. We're taking up the mantle. Interesting. Do I just go in or how does this work? I'm still not sure on the controls or... What I can and cannot do. Where do I work at? The safety and security of the ministry are another source of pride for us. The security guards can be some of your best friends here, especially if you're able to come to some kind of arrangement with them. Bribes. Got it. I don't have money, but oh. What's gonna happen to him? Oh, oh shit! Oh, they stomping him out! Yo, yeah, no, nobody gonna say nothing? My boy getting stomped! Alright, we just eyes forward. Secretary man does not fight. Does not fight. As I said before, there are 37 floors and twice that many in the ground. I'm not reading all those texts on the bottom. Somebody start better start talking here. We should always remember why we are here and what it took for us to get here. Yep, that's a thing. My father jumped out a window. How did you get here? This is where we hold general meetings. The first floor of the ministry has an area of 44,000 square meters. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah, so incredible. Take me to my desk. I'm tired of talking. See those lines? Every single person standing there has come here with a problem. Whether it's a real issue or not isn't up to us to decide. Our job is to send people to the right department next. Oh, so we're the, we're the automatic voices on phones that people hate. If you sit on the riverbank long enough, the current might sweep your enemies for you. Should I go help him? I saw you fall. Do you need my help? What I'm saying is that it's perfectly acceptable to take a neutral position. Or an indifferent one, as some might call it. There are a lot of people here who don't care one way or another. Well, that's not me. I'm here to continue my father's legacy. Show me my way to the documents. I brought my own lighter. It's really cool music. Really cool vibe. And here's the general hall. You'll be spending a lot of time here working or talking to coworkers. I don't really talk. More of a mysterious brooder in the dark corners of an office. Hmm, cart with papers. That's your desk. Take a look around. I'll give you your first assignment when you're ready. Remember how you promised not to talk too much on the way, Hermit Hemnitz? I shudder to think what too much means to you. Well, that was just rude. You don't tell the person that. We think it to ourselves. Maybe even talk to other people about it, but we don't tell them that. Cart with papers. Can't do anything with that. I guess I'll just... Oh, here's my workplace. Take me to the terminal. I'm ready to process things. I'm going to be such a great processor. I'm going to get authority in like that. I'm going to show how special I'm going to make Dad proud. No window included. Welcome to the Patriot Terminal. There are five forms, it looks like. Okay, well, I'll click the forms. Everyone knows that our country is the best in the world. Our national track and field team was sent to the world championship to remind other countries of this fact. That's great. What next? Those useless parasites didn't want to win a thing. Even worse, not all of them came back. I suggest, no, I demand that they be sent to the gold mine, seeing as they obviously can't get in any... Huh? Obviously can't get any in competitions. Well, this sounds like a complaint, right? Um... A complaint about our sports team seems uh let's say Monday the 6th of May well I've got 78 available they're available Monday so I guess I'll give you the first one review your choice a form culture and sports 78 you're welcome somebody light up a cigar because I am killing it next I want to report a violation of Directive Number 6729 from June 23rd this year. My neighbor, Jacob Proust, is hiding a draft dodger in his home. Someone who was called to serve on the Western Front. You snitch-ass, snitch-ass snitch. The fact that the man in question is Jacob's son doesn't give him the right to violate directives, does it? I hate this. I don't want to be a part of this complaint. All right. What the hell does denunciation even mean? I mean, I'm guessing to denounce, but like that's to decry, right? I'm going to make sure before I send the wrong form. Public condemnation of someone or something. Oh. Well, I'm going to go with this as a... Um, 
Well, what's the difference between a complaint and a denunciation? Do you want do you want to complain or do you want them to publicly be scolded? I'm gonna go. With, uh, I feel like it's gonna be wrong. Complaint. Um, patriotism. I got another one that's available. All Mondays are available, so you can just go to the next queue. 154. You're welcome. I think it's a complaint. Or is it denounce? Or is it to denounce? I, I feel like it's going to be denounce. Because why would they double back two complaint forms? Ah, maybe? Is that right? Oh, shit. Yep, that was wrong. So what was the right answer then? Correct would have been... Shut up. I'm trying to figure something out. I don't... I don't understand this part right here. So the result was wrong. Correct was patriotism. Didn't I click patriotism? I knew it was denunciation. I knew it should have denounced. Whatever. I want to report that my neighbor has too much living space and our building manager, Oscar Morell, has done nothing about it. Well, there's a bunch of snitches at my window today. It's already been two weeks since my neighbor's wife and three kids got ran over and there's still nobody living in their room. <laughs> What is this? I got a Monday for you, bud. Hopefully this is all right. I got two of them correct. I got the wrong form. I still, I'm not sure how, what, what's the difference between the forms? Request, complaint, denounce information. Hello, I'd like to report an incident that occurred yesterday at an evening with the poet Albert Grabowski. While he was performing the pacifist hymn, the audience erupted in a completely unsectioned upra uprising. They literally rose up out of their seats. Oh God, they were clapping, weren't they? What? A standing ovation? I'll have you know the public a events attendance guide list, all the approved reasons for standing up. And there's no mention of Grabowski poems in there. Oh, Lord. I demand that they be punished. He be punished for using the medium of poetry to cause such an outrage. I don't know. Denounce, I guess. Um, pff, for, for, for. I, pff, I don't, uh, somebody in the culture in sports department i got a monday available i think 279 denounce print oh my god we finally got one right it's we've answered four appeals and got two right we're batting 500 um or 250 hello i need to answer some academic records transfer some academic records belonging to one professor drum dairy to the archive on account of his death y'all are coming too fast that's what they all said uh, so you need to, um, either information or request, right? Request? Uh, um, I don't know. I need to transfer some academic records belonging to one tr to the archive. I'm just... Oh, here we go. Responsible for everything related to violations of directives and law, spying and public order. Oh, okay. Responsible for the bright ideas, image, and ideals of the wise leader. Deals with issues relating to propaganda and the defense. Okay. Controls the lives of citizens from birth to death. Regulates kindergartens, hospitals, schools, and other public institutions. Responsible for distribution of social resources. I think it's going to be this one. Social care. Labor doesn't... I don't think it would do. Yeah, no. And then... Yeah, okay. So it's definitely social care. Wait, right, right. Social care, right? Hospital, schools, yeah, public institutions. So social care. I got another Monday available for you. 390. I think it's a request. I suck. Form result wrong. The rec oh, it was information. Oops. And it was the Ministry of Science, but it was a public school. I'm going to fail this a lot. I can see that already. Just bear with me. What is going on in my email? Ban on mass emailing. We have introduced a complete ban on mass emailing for everyone without UD, blah, 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 level access. I don't have that. Also, I can't even do my damn job right, so I want to do more forms. Everybody leave me alone. Hello, I heard I can sign up to obtain a special device that helps single ladies relieve their feelings of loneliness. Is that true? Do I need to fill out any forms? Are you talking about a vibrator? Are you single? Are you? How about dinner? Who knows? Maybe I won't need that device after all. Sorry, but I'm on duty. We definitely just got hit on and she definitely wants a vibrator. Now, what exactly were you asking? Uh, so you want information. You either want a request or information. Hmm. 
I guess request. I'm going to go with request. I'm definitely going to say that's social. That's your own personal body business. And then I'm going to say, you know, 769 is available. And go get your dildo. Say I am selling out dildos left and right. I am on a mission to relieve the lonely hearts of the women of this totalitarian state. Ha, I brought veterinarian passports for all my kitties. Can I register cat therapy as a medical treatment now? What? I brought veterinary passports for all my kitties. Can I register cat therapy as a medical treatment? And medical treatment? Yes, for lonely people. Administer one cat per year of solitude. And the depression is gone. Where do I hand over the documents? Where do you hand over the documents? I don't know. I'm guessing you're asking for information. And it's about social care. And I've got 890. They're open. Here you go. Oh, what? It was a request. Ugh. It's so hard to tell between the two sometimes. Some of these things are really close. Anyway, I did my job. I'm going back to Hernandez, man. Hernandez, tell me how I did. And don't shit on me because I'm very sensitive. I handed out dildos, though. That's got to count for something. You know how hard that is to do? You know how many request forms that is? Hey, George. George. Talk to me, George. What a lovely day. I fulfilled the quota. What's next? Great, keep it up. Actually, uh, I have nothing more to tell you about your job. You're on your own now. Get settled in, meet your co-workers, and earn authority. If you roll up your sleeves and work hard eight hours a day, sooner or later you'll be promoted to manager and get to work 12 hours a day. Isn't that an exciting thought? I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, George. I'll make it known in the journal that you've had your briefing. All the necessary documents are in that over there. Are in that over there. What the hell is that over there? Take them to Magda Rakovich, the boss's secretary. Um, I guess I'll ask about authority. How can I earn authority? You earn it by meeting your quota. Eh, I don't care. Visitors, who are all these people? The visitors, they're just people. Not people like you and me, of course. We work for the ministry. These are ordinary people with ordinary problems, except for the dildo one. When they can't solve these problems themselves, they come to us. We are their last hope, Evan. Remember, if we don't help them, no one else will. They might cry, swear, laugh, and even threaten you. They can be unpleasant, rude, mean, and cruel. But always remember that they came here to get help, and your job is to help them, I understand. No, your job is to process that request correctly. Whether or not that helps them has nothing to do with us. Such a sweet, thoughtful guy. What do I do? Take the documents from the cart. I'm guessing this cart? Mine? 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 Sign George Jimenez. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to the boss's secretary. I'm guessing this is the boss's personal... Nope, that ain't it. Where's the boss's secretary? Oh, what's this? Workplace stranger? Oh. Not as great as me, though. Only one of us can sign dildo papers. There she is. Hi, stranger. Hi, stranger. Now what? Hello. That's not a very respectful way to address an older woman. Now is it? Did I tell you that I... I signed dodo papers today? I'm sorry. Now what? George Himnitz asked me to give you these documents. You didn't look inside, I hope. I'm not interested. I did not look inside. Could I have? I didn't ask if you were interested. Reading sealed papers like these when you don't have top secret clearance can cost you your freedom. Or your life. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly. But I prefer not to stick my nose into other people's business, except for my father's death. I don't care where you stick any of your extremities. There are rules, regulations, and instructions that must be observed if you want to stay in the ministry for more than a day. If you make mistakes, nothing will save you, not even your name. What's wrong with my name? You're still here. Don't try my patience. Sorry, I'm leaving already. Okay, that was that. Super fun. I'm gonna go back to Himnitz now. You are just a joy of bright light. It's green. Tinged green. And something's leaking from it, but bright light! Bright light all the same. Well, Georgie, why? I did the thing that you asked me to do. Are you proud? Where the hell did George go? Oh, outside, at the leader's feet. I'm going outside now! Nobody! Oh, tray of pastry. Can I buy a pastry? Hello? Can I buy a pastry? Who are you? I haven't seen you before. Hi, my name's Evan. I'm new. New, eh? I'm Serena Marwitz. Well, here's my advice, newbie. And if you don't want to lose your mind and your life, keep away from the vending machine. What is it with y'all and, like, trying to kill me? What do you want to know? You can talk about my family, but I've got no respect. Talk about the weather, talk about trading. Do you know the temperature today? Do I look like a thermometer? 
How about trading? How do you make it past security? The ministry is a restricted access area. What do you think people eat in restricted areas? Air? They used to have a whole canteen on this floor. And then, when it was shut down to cut costs, folks started dying of starvation right at their workplaces. So the bosses had to okay selling food here. And nobody stops you? I'd love to see him try. Wow, you're quite a big shot. Please, I started out as a janitor here. You know how it goes, though. Nobody pays attention to the hired help. I've seen and heard a lot. Once the canteen got shut down, I, got, I put two and two together and went straight to the boss. We agreed on an amount fairly quick. The security chief, though, became a problem. So I had to remind him of what happened on the day of order a couple years ago, and he came to his senses pretty sharpish. Ever since, security just smiled and waved at me. What happened? Yeah, right. Want to start smuggling pies, too, and take my job away? Okay, well, I learned something. I don't know what, but I learned it. Ask where you can buy useful items. I don't have any respect. Pasta pies are all the rage right now. Come and get pasta pie. Ugh, that's just bread and something soggy just doesn't mix for me. I don't like things that leak out of my bread, man. I like my bread to be dry. Whole bunch of nothing, huh? Potted plants. All praise the leader. Potted plant. Hi, leader. I look, I point. I point for five minutes at the leader. Oh, praise the leader. Praise the giant stone leader. Ah, oh, he's not very much of a talker, but he's still my leader. Oh, him the boy. Him and what? You need an umbrella. Talk to me. Talk to me. Uh, Thor and saw him fall. Right from the top floor, he says. First, some shards of glass came raining down, then... Holy shit! Heads must have rolled after that, huh? No, Phil. Everything's been quiet. They declared a mourning period as usual, and that's even scarier, you know? Ministers don't just drop out of windows every day. There must be more to it. Oh, he was a minister. Our dad was a minister. Why are we working? We've got it made. We live in a totalitarian state. Where's my beach house? Keep it down. You want to make a take a little trip out a window, too? Don't say that. I just... I, I didn't mean... Let's get out of here. Too late. The sun already hurt. I'm telling. I'm snitching. If it makes me happy, I'm snitching. There's my dad. Oh, what's left of my dad? Or really just the outline of my dad. Dear old dad. Dear old sweet papa. I miss him. Boy, I miss him. I'm gonna lay by that later on today. Hello. What happened here? I've been bringing reports to the Ministry of Distribution for the last three days. I missed everything. They say Redgrave fell out a window yesterday. Do you know who he was? He's my dad. Of course I do. He was one of the big wigs. How could something like that happen? No idea. You'd better not dwell on it. I can't help it. He's my dad. My papa. Tu padre. Mi padre. Mi father. Big papa. The guy that brought me into the world. Kinda. Not exactly. Like shut out of him. And then another person, you know, my mother actually did the whole bringing in. That's not the point. Papa! What a lovely day. What do you want to talk about? It's about your father, Evan. What happened to him was just awful. There's something I have to tell you. Go on. At most, 20 people in the whole country know what I'm about to tell you. I'm taking a huge risk by divulging these details to you, so I have to ask you, don't say a word to anyone, okay? Let's hear it. As you know, I was appointed to the position of floor inspector several years ago, but at the same time, I was enlisted to work in Department 6. Department 6? That's a myth. No sane person actually believes in it. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. Department 6 is considered to be a myth because that's how the person in charge wanted it. More precisely, that's how your father wanted it. My father was the head of Department 6? What went on in there? Work on Himdel. A secret project helmed by your father began at that time. That's how we met. I've always been good with numbers, so I was invited on board to assess statistical errors and their potential consequences. The gross superpower. Not as great as um, my boy, Secretary Man. He didn't talk much about himself, but mentioned having a son a few times. And his eyes lit up every time he did. He was proud of you. Believe me, only 20 people in the world knew that he was proud of me. What kind of shit dad did I have? What else did he say about my... Let's uh, ask about the project, actually. What was this Himdal project? Not here. Not now. It's too dangerous. We have to find a quiet place and the right time. How about tomorrow? I'll tell you everything, and you can decide what to do with the information. What about 
So what the hell were you going to tell me about that 20 people knew? We didn't keep in contact for the last 10 years. He did mention that he was no longer in touch with you, but he always hoped that someday you'd come and join him. Why do you think so? He wrote you a letter a few days before his death. It seems he knew what was going to happen to him. Where's the letter? I didn't get a letter. You have my letter? A letter? Do you have it with you? No, I keep it at home. And I read it. Sorry. Not sorry. I didn't expect you to turn up so soon. Uh, I'll give it to you tomorrow and tell you everything I know. Some Somewhere quiet. And there's also a biometric safe. I don't know what's inside, but it must be something valuable. Thank you, George. I, I don't know how to thank you. I can give you a dildo form if you want one. But I'm really good at those. Don't mention it, Evan. Your father was good to me. This is the least I can do for you. And also, we'll talk about that dildo form. I knew your little freaky ass wanted a dildo. Thanks for telling me about my father, George. We'll have time to talk some more. See you tomorrow. I'm off to say a dildo. I mean, off to go home. Get a letter from Father Hemnit. Wait, what? Get Father's letter from Hemnit. Is this home? Desk. Can't do anything at the desk. TV. Oh, this is a depressing home. Music's depressing. Our character's depressed. Our father's dead. She seems all depressed. Uh, Red Gray's legacy. Oh, what's this? Yes, yeah, people. No, I don't want to read about people. I just know that there's people. What do I do now? Get father's letter from... Wait, I thought he said tomorrow, though. I can't get it from him right now. What's this? Oh, hello. Um. Hi. It's good to see you, Evan. Do you remember me? No. I'm an old friend of your father's. Evan, is your name stranger? He and I were friends, and we worked side by side for many years. I visited your home often. Don't you remember? If you say so, your mother used to make a fantastic rhubarb pie. Do I like rhubarb? I don't even know if I like rhubarb. I don't know if I've had rhubarb, but I'll try rhubarb pie. She, <coughs> oh, excuse me, excuse me. I was thinking about rhubarb pie, I got choked up. She passed away a long time ago. I know, I went to her funeral and to your father's. My father had a funeral? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't get a chance to say my goodbyes. I'm afraid your father's death is a complicated matter and someone at the top wanted to sweep it under the rug as quickly as possible. That's why I came to you. We need to talk about your work. How's your first day going? Dildo papers! Everything's moving very quickly. Just a week ago, I was planning to visit my father and introduce him to my family. In the end, I didn't even make it to his funeral, and I lied about the family. As you can see, I'm a bachelor. I understand, Evan. Did you two ever patch things up? No, we never got the chance. Probably because of the whole, you know, falling out of a window. I'm sorry. If I'd known that things were that bad, I would have arranged your transfer here much sooner. So, you're the one who got me assigned to the ministry? I am indeed. And by now you might have guessed that it wasn't down to your good looks and winning smile. Are you hitting on me? Did you come here alone? Where's your family? Everything's okay. They're with Miriam's parents in Reading at the moment. Reading? There's hardly anything there apart from coal mines and some pretty unpleasant minor types. Not the best place for a woman and her child. I realize that. I have to get the new apartment ready for them as soon as possible. Okay, I'm ready to answer your questions. Well, I want to talk about my, the uh, well, the uh, apartment, because I care about my family. Tell me about the apartment. It's a typical mid-level ministerial apartment. I sorted it out for you. Uh, do you own this apartment? No, Evan. You can live in it for as long as you work for the ministry. You still have to pay the bills, otherwise you'll be sleeping on the street. As an undercover agent for the IID, you're going to have to play by the rules to avoid unwanted attention. I'm sorry? Who am I undercover for? I'll pay your bills today, but from tomorrow on, you'll have to take care of them by yourself. The Ministry of Housing is extremely strict, as you know. Even a minor debt will get you arrested. One has to show due respect for labor, communal property, and all that stuff. Uh, plus, there are 603 people waiting in line for this apartment. I checked. What about my father? It's been seized while the investigation's ongoing. You know, Evan, I wouldn't get my hopes up. And the apartment we lived in back when my mother was still alive? I'm afraid some new tenants have already moved in. I'm sorry. Vultures. How about my dad? Nope, the ministry. Why am I working here? Why did you move me? Well, you see, I need a man inside the, in the ministry. But why? If you can arrange a transfer like mine so easily, then surely you must have plenty of insiders there already. I only have one respect, and that was for praising the bust of our leader. I assume my father was one of them. 
First of all, getting you this job wasn't easy, easy at all. Second, I need a man I can trust. What for? I'm the head of the department that monitors the authorities, the I-I-D. The Internal Investigations Division? Exactly right. And my main goal is to find out which of our top officials truly serve the people, and which ones bring shame upon the name of our great leader, the Bust. The kind of information can be obtained only with the help of an insider. That's why I need you. Slowly but surely, you're going to climb your way up the career ladder from the very bottom and shine a light into every one of the ministry's dark corners. My daddy. James, do you know anything about my father's death? Not much. The floor bosses were involved in some way. That's all I know. And I can't conduct a full investigation. Why not? Investigations are what you and your division do. Evan, the only insider I had in the ministry was your father, and he was pushed out of a window. Clearly, he discovered something very important and got taken out of it. All the evidence disappears if we just walk in the front door, meaning that my investigation into the ministry and your investigation into your father's death are one and the same. Hold on, I'm gonna put on my detective hat for a second, right? Because I'm imagining the floor bosses are individuals who've gone to some Ivy League schools or at least had friends that went to Ivy League schools. These are smart individuals or at least perceptive individuals. They already knew that Evan's father was in on an investigation because they killed him. So why would they hire the son to then take his place? That just seems like a conflict of interest. You're like, oh, I finally got rid of the problem. Hey boss, got an idea. What if we hire the son of the guy we just killed? Great idea, Billy. I love your ideas, Billy. Implement his ideas right now. And now we're here. They just seem stupid because now we're going to investigate the death and I'm going to bring your whole damn building down. Detective hat off. Um, I'm gonna offer help because you know it's my daddy. I want to help you. Happy to hear it. Find some dirt on those bastards in the ministry and find out who's responsible for your father's death. I'll make sure they get the punishment they deserve. Where should I begin? I'm no detective. I took that hat off. Your main task is to listen to what people say, make a note of everything, and ask, Ooh, excuse me, that's rhubarb pie, the right questions. Learn about the job and about your colleagues. It's not as though they have anywhere else to be. So become one of the team and find out what they're all interested in. Everyone's watching TV shows these days, so you should start watching them too. You and your new friends need something to talk about. By the way, I left a book in your bookcase. There's some general information about terminal interfaces in there, as well as descriptions of several ways to crack simple passwords. You can find lots of useful information in your colleagues' terminals. It'll take some time to read it all, but it will pay off. Sounds like work. Talk about, um, I'm not going to talk about him nits. I'm going to keep that to myself for now because, you know. He asked me to. Goodbye. Goodbye. You didn't even say goodbye. You're flipping rude. Get father's letter from Himnitz. Does it have pictures? Get the skill hacking Patriot terminals. I'll do that. Bookcase. Read book. Book reading. Book. It takes. Oh, it takes a minute. Okay. Or is that an hour? I don't know. We'll see what the time changes. Learn. It was an hour. Learn. Oh. Learn. Skill added. Hacking Patriot Terminals. Took us an hour, but we are now skilled at um, techy stuff. As you can tell, I'm very skilled at it because I called it techy stuff. Tech, 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 TV. Oh, God. I've got to buy this stuff. I barely have. I don't. I don't have money. No money for this. The Walkin' Boreans TV show, target audience, a active young people ministry employees, the Patriot Adventures TV show, young patriots and ministry employees, and then there's the passion of the leader, romantic girls and ministry employees. Basically, if you work for the ministry, all TV's for you. If you're not working, you're watching TV. Let's watch episode 653. Knowledge about the characters from the Walking Boreans. I also wanna watch, um, we'll watch one of these shows. We'll do um, the passion of the leader. Sexy. Shexy, shexy. I guess I'm going to sleep. Oh, right. I'm walking now. Trudge. Everybody's walking so slowly like they're depressed about work. Me, I'm excited because I'm going to solve my daddy's death. And that gives me energy. That gives me focus. That gives me drive. And that drive powers my legs up these steps. I'm ready to investigate. Nobody look at me. Show happy another day, big boss. I mean, big, big Barry. Yeah, big Barry, big Todd, big Lou. I hear clapping. 
What's happening? What are we celebrating? I want to be a part of it. I also want to collab. Celebrate me. Compatriots and friends. Oh, that's me. Sorry. We have all gathered here today, hand in hand, shoulder to shoulder, for a very special occasion. We are here to reward someone. Our country is big, unique, and beautiful. We are united by common concerns and common pleasures. We are also united by our long-standing tradition of rewarding the worthy among us and wishing them the very best. Ow, Monica, I said no teeth. And today, that worthy individual is your colleague, Comrade Himnich. It is vitally important that we believe in ourselves, in our own strength, and in our country. We work, and in doing so, we achieve many great things. I would like to sincerely thank you, dear friends, for all your victories and achievements, your understanding and trust, and your genuine, heartfelt connection, concern for the great state. Today, every one of us can become a little better. Not as great as me, but still a little better. To achieve this, all we need to do is treat our parents with love and gratitude, give our children and family the attention and care they deserve, respect our colleagues, cherish our friends, defend truth and justice, be merciful, and help those in need of support. But most importantly, we must never betray the cause of our great nation. After all, each of us is rewarded according to their deeds. All hell, our great state, peace and prosperity to our great motherland. I wish you happiness, health, and prosperity. Hurrah!